Hey, what's going on guys? This is Vince. Hope you're all doing well. Today I have a battery review of sorts. Um, although this is actually for a particular seller. Uh, it's a gentleman named Gary Hensley who is part of the Facebook group uh, forum or what, what have you uh, called Electric Motorcycle Builds. And that's, that's how I ended up uh, talking to Gary. Uh, he has showed off a number of his battery builds. I, I think they look like high quality builds. He tests all of his cells. Um, you know, everything looks pretty top notch over there. And he uh, posted some pretty attractive pricing on Molly Cell P42A cells. Um, you know, said that they're they're grade A, brand new, genuine Molly cells, and that he's getting them for a great price. So uh, I hope today that, uh, that this all works out well and that I can go ahead and give uh, Gary Hensley and his supplier out of China a, a big thumbs up and that uh, those of you in, in this community who are looking for affordable, uh, well-priced cells, that, uh, that this that this works out to all of our benefits. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and open this and pretty much step one, I'm gonna label all of the cells, just number them all one to a hundred. Uh, I have my laptop open over here, which I'll show you guys really quick. Uh, just made a basic spreadsheet here where I'm gonna track the voltage internal resistance on two different devices. The focus for today uh, is just use these two different resistance testers. Um, this one is some Chinese brand, sell it on Amazon, uh, this YR1035 Plus. It uses a four wire method and uh, bought the version that has this, this nifty little stand. Uh, and then Gary recommended and says that he uses this DIY full brand battery tester. Uh, so I will have that set to, to lithium ion 3.7 volts and I'll test it with both of those uh, just as a control uh, to make sure that we're getting accurate results and uh, you know, see what's up there. So that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and get started, unbox all this, number it, and then I'm going to get to measuring and we'll see what happens. All right, well, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that condensed two hours of my life, but here we are looking at the data that I received. Um, first, let's, uh, let's note the fact that uh, this, this DIY full, um, yeah, my, my answer is a big fat no on this one. Sorry, Gary. Um, Maybe it's just this unit. I'm not saying that it's complete junk, but, uh, you know, it doesn't use the four wire method. And, um, I was helping it along for a while in the data actually kind of fibbing uh, a little bit. Um, I would try it, you know, a few times and, uh, you know, just to get it closer to what the measurement I was getting, uh, on this YR unit and uh, it was still all over the place. Um, you know, you could pause the video and kind of take a look at these, uh, at these first 30 results compared to what I was getting over here, which is the, uh, this column was the, This one was the internal resistance of the YR. This one was the internal resistance of the DIY full. 
So anyways, just putting this up there so you can take a look at this column versus this column. Now, um, after I did the first 30, I was kind of tired of wasting my time with it, so I just went ahead and got rid of those two columns and moved forward with just doing the voltage and IR, the other cells. Um, there was only a couple of outliers. Um, I haven't tested a bunch of Molly cells in the past. I think... Um, in the past, I've bought from 18650 Battery Store. I've only tested, you know, maybe a hundred other Molly cells, but I do remember that I didn't have any deviations or, you know, any large deviations or outliers that I was concerned about. Uh, but I did have a couple in this one. Um, but honestly, overall, it, it looks pretty promising, and I'm excited to do the capacity testing and see what we find there. So let's go over the ones that stood out uh, in terms of the numbers. So one thing I noticed, and I don't want to draw a conclusion from this, but I had, what? let's see, um, I had three cells that weighed right around 64 grams. Now you can see up here the average weight was 65.8 grams. I would say, nine, you know, 95% or something fell between 6.5 and 6.6. Uh, only a couple above 6.6, .6, but that was only 6.61, you know, 66.1, sorry, 66.2. Uh, so anything between 65 and 66 was it's pretty average, but you can see here, uh, 64 grams, 11.21 milliohms as compared to the rest, which are, you know, average 952, I would say vast majority between 9.3 and 9.7, 9.8, um, would, would be the range, um, that those values tend to fall within. So 64 grams, 11.21 milliohms. 64.2 grams, 11.22 milliohms. Um, we'll come back to this one. And then down here a little further again, 64 grams, 11.22 milliohms. So I don't want to speculate too much. I'm not a battery expert or a battery manufacturer or anything like that. Maybe it's missing a little electrolyte, maybe a little bit of the anode or cathode or, you know, for some reason those, those weigh about, you know, a, a gram less than pretty much anything else nearby. I mean, see, you could see like this one, 65.1, but still had a good IR. Um, nothing too notable there. Ooh, I should highlight this cell right here. This was the lowest of the bunch. Um, so I would be keen on, you know, m monitoring this cell, make sure that it doesn't have any, uh, you know, passive passive losses not thinking of the right technical term right now but you know what i mean overall um you can see your, your, the max is 3.4645 volts average 3.4367 um with this max deviation if i take this outlier out of here uh, the voltage on everything is, is pretty tight. I mean, that's what, 20, 20 hundredths of a volt. So, you know, pretty, pretty good. Even with that outlier, I mean, not, not crazy. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty tight on voltages. A lot of three, four, fours, three, four, threes, three, you know, you know, only, only a handful outside of the that three, four, four or something, three, four, five, something. Uh, okay. Back to, back to this guy. Um, really not sure. I'm going to pull that out of the box right now. Cell number 21. Not sure what's going on with this guy. Um, stand this guy up here. take another look at this see uh if we have any different results but they were pretty weird so yeah as you can see uh this is reading 49 point you know 49 milliohms approximately 
but the voltage is normal. The voltage is right where I'd expect it. And one of the times when I was measuring this, um, I got next to zero ohms. So I don't know, every time I've measured it since then, it's been really high resistance. Um, so who knows what's going on there, but just to prove to you that this thing isn't crazy, here's cell 31, you know, 9.65 9 milli ohms, 3.4465. I'm, I don't know, I, I like almost still can't believe it myself. Why is this one cell so far off? So obviously this is something that I would want to toss out. Um, the other ones that were, you know, like right around 64 grams, they were like two milli ohms higher. Um, you know, would I throw them away? Maybe not. Would I mix them in with the rest of the pack? Probably not. Um, honestly, I'm not going to disclose exactly how much I paid per cell, but, uh, yeah, I, I'll let you hash that out with Gary. Uh, but more than made up for the, the four cells that, that have kind of shown as outliers here. Um, I guess there's five with, if you count the one that was a little bit lower voltage, but, um, like I said, I'll, I'll monitor that and I'll do, you know, a follow up on this whole thing once I get the capacity results in, but that's going to take a while. So there you go. There's there's the initial results for, for this session. If everything goes well and there's, you know, say just the, the four or five outliers and uh, everything else tests really well with capacity, uh, I, I don't see why you wouldn't rate these as, as grade A cells. I mean, if they meet the weight, internal resistance, uh, capacity is in spec, um, you know, I, I'm sure you can come up with reasons why, why you wouldn't or, or couldn't, you know, maybe it's had five cycles on it and you don't know. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, if it, if it hits all those specs, I'm pretty happy. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I hope it really stays within these few cells and that there aren't too many others that kind of have to be tossed out of the running here to where I'm no longer you know, benefiting from the lower cost that Gary's able to, uh, to purchase these at. But if it was just these five, yeah, I'd be, I'd be pretty far ahead. Um, I'm planning on making a, uh, a pack with roughly 400 cells in it here pretty soon. So if everything works out well here, I'm going to do this again for 300 more cells and I'll have that much more data as long as I'm, I'm happy with the overall results. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Um, I gave Gary a chance, spent a couple hundred bucks, uh, first time doing business with him. And so far I'm, I'm pleased. I'm, I'm satisfied given the much lower cost that I was able to purchase these at, um, provided that everything keeps going this well with the, uh, the capacity testing. So uh, talk to you guys soon. Hope this helps.